So the Yankees need another hitting coach now. Okay, Hensley Bam Bam Mullins has taken a head hitting, uh, hitting position with the Colorado Rockies. So congratulations to him, which leaves a position open for the Yankees that I think should be filled. But I think it should be filled with somebody who has a little bit of a different experience to help. That that's not so analytically driven or obsessed. Somebody who can use some instincts and good hard nosed baseball um, instincts and a long and being a professional hitter. Um, I can only think of one guy. Well, I can think of more guys, but the one guy keeps coming back to my head. And the perfect match to me is Don Mattingly. Okay, now I don't know if it'll happen. He's a former man. He's managed almost the last decade. So, um, but he is the perfect guy, in my opinion, to put in there as a co-head, as a co-heading coach with Dylan Lawson to help provide that other type of baseball acumen to to help complement analytics. I, should, I think there should be a balance between the two, so that if. You know, Dylan Lawson's not getting through to a couple of players. Maybe Don Maddox can get through a couple of players, and vice versa. I think the balance there would be a very, very good thing. And again, who oh, I can't think of anybody better than Don Maddox. He knows how to play in New York. He played well in New York. He was an MVP, former batting champ. And again, you know, he's managing, so he can bring that dynamic too. And he's ten years wiser than he was since the last time he's been on the Yankees uh, bench. And he was a bench coach for a little while too. So I think he'd be a great fit here. Now I don't know if he'd be willing to do it because he's managing. It's gonna be a little bit of a step back, but. To me, the way I see it, too, is if he gets in there, a couple things. The Yankees, I hope he gets a championship with the Yankees. I feel like it's unfinished business here because he left in 95 as a player, and they won in 96. So um, having him here, he give valuable experience. And again, he's beloved in New York. And should they ever want to move on from Aaron Boone, we have somebody. we would have somebody in here who could step in his shoes and replace him. Don Madden, who's got at least a decade of managerial experience. Okay, and he's already coached in New York. He's played in New York, so he's to me he's a perfect fit. And I I hope that Hal Steinbrenner and Cashman and the rest of the gang consider this guy, consider him for this position, because I think he'd be a perfect fit to complement with Dylan Lawson. Okay, and he's also a very low key guy, and I think his his he's one of the best pure hitters I've ever seen, and he's a good he was a great contact hitter who just happened to hit for power too. He was a complete, and he was also an elite defending first base. He was better than Anthony Rizzo at first base, okay? So he can bring a lot of value, a lot of experience, a lot of different benefits to this team and to the lineup. And I, I can't think of anybody else that's, that would be a better fit. Can you? I mean, let me know in the comments, obviously. I mean, I want to know. So before we go any further, for, for those of you who haven't heard, tonight's going to be... MLB for Agent Prediction. It's going to be a live video, live stream. And I have three other channels that are going to be joining me. So it's going to be NYY Recaps. It's going to be Ball Cap Sports and Yankees Morning Brew. All four of us are going to be live doing a roundtable for, our, for our, our MLB for Agent Prediction. So be sure to join us if you can. It's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you like that stuff, be sure to do that. And if you want to be notified when these videos come out, please hit the notification bell as well. I don't want you missing this stuff. And again... This, one, this one's going to be a lot of fun. We've been waiting for this for a little while. And the predictions have changed a little bit because now that we know which teams are picking up options and not options and, and, and who's going where, it kinda, I, at least my list has changed a little bit over the last couple days because there's been some guys that... Is, this is the way it is, though, in free agency. Like You never know who's going to be back and who's not going to be back and whatnot, who's going to be traded and here and that. But right now, we are in the midst of exclusive free agency the first five days. But Thursday, I think at 5 p.m. is when open market on free agency starts, which is one reason we're doing it now to give our predictions to do before the whole thing opens. Okay, with the exception of like Edwin Diaz re-signing with the Mets, nothing else has really happened. But Anthony, we know Anthony Rizzo's opted out and a whole bunch of other players have opted out too. DeGrom, Tyron Walker. So there's a lot of big players that have opted out or who have had their options declined and whatnot. And so so um, this one's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you can join us. You, and again, it's going to be live, so you folks can give us your comments, give us your feedback, give us your own predictions, and even ask us, what do you think about this guy? And if, if the person you ask is not on the list, we'll give you some predictions. Okay? So um, this one's going to be a lot of fun. Really, really, really a lot of fun. So I hope to see you all there. And again, it's going to be 7 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time. And I have a whole bunch more stuff coming out after that. That I, you know, all it's going to lead us all the way into the season. And anytime you get breaking news, anytime somebody signs, you know I'm going to put it out. Anybody gets traded, I'm going to put it out. So you're not going to miss that, any of that stuff. So you know exactly what to do if you don't want to miss these things. And if you want to know exactly when they come out lifetime, you'll get all that here.
So, but um, let me know what you think about Don Mattingly. Give me your feedback. Load up that comment section down below. Pile it up with some comments. I want to know what you think, okay? And hopefully we'll see you all tonight. The more the merrier. Talk to you guys next time.